All right, so in this tutorial, we're going to be tackling this animation right here, specifically the ball that you just saw. It's really cool and very diverse for motion graphics. So if you want to do like a logo reveal like I did here with my logo or whatever you want to do. So I'm going to show you how to make that. Just a heads up, some of you might actually recognize this procedure if you've seen this tutorial right here, the environment design. I did it, but this is such a long video, I wanted to dedicate that procedure just for the guy who's looking for some motion graphic stuff. So if you've already seen it, you can go watch a different tutorial. But if you've never seen this procedure and you want to do some motion graphic stuff, stick around and we're going to have some fun. So I'm just going to use an icosphere for this, but you can really do this to almost any model. Sometimes if the topology is weird, it's not going to work, but this is pretty standard topology. So I'm just going to subdivide this, bring it up. And just like that, we have our ball. Now I'm going to go back, hit tab, go to edit mode, and I'm going to go over here and make a new vertex group. Click new and click assign. So now these vertices are assigned to this group. And we're going to go over to the modifiers and add a vertex weight edit. And then we're going to go over here and select this vertex group click group add group remove right here on fall off type we're going to get custom curve and we're going to flip this curve up just like this it's a pretty wonky strange procedure and a lot of things going on in the background but if you just follow it it's pretty straightforward now right down here i'm going to click new and this little icon i'm going to go to the textures and i'm going to add a clouds texture now you can play around with this all that but now that we have this let's go back to the modifiers and we need to add a mask now right here on the vertex group click the group and you can kind of see nothing happening so we need to go back to our texture click this little icon right here right here on colors we're going to click color ramp and we're going to take this white one and that's when you can see it happening just like that so i'm going to go in and i'm going to add a solidify here so we can get some depth going on and i'm going to add a matte cap just a metallic matte cap just for now and bring our thickness just like that and so we can go back to the texture again and you can play around with this so once it goes all the way down here it's completely gone and you can make it now you can see the logo reveal so if you want to just animate this we can start here right down here where they just all disappear and then right here on PO it's called set position you're gonna right click insert keyframe and I'm gonna bring it all the way to hundred frames doesn't matter this is just the speed it'll be and then bring it all the way up and then insert keyframe and now you have your animation now keep in mind this is pretty rough it looks pretty bad so the more subdivision you add it will make the smoother the smoother animation so I had quite a bit of subdivision here so it looks very kind of liquidy and very smooth I just had at a very low subdivision rate so if you go in and hit tab right click and subdivide and then we go back again you can see it's a little bit more smooth so if you do that hit tab subdivide again you'll probably get some pretty smooth animation and then you can go back in and add some modifiers maybe add a subdivision surface or a smoothing just to make it look good I'm a shade smooth and it looks pretty bad so I'm gonna go back to flat but yeah you can go in and put a logo in there and then just do the same procedure and animate it just like this and it looks really cool and it's very versatile you can have a lot of fun with that 